Okay, so let's test out the throttle. Good day, good afternoon of my kapon sa tanan. So, for today's video, we're going to do an e-bike version with our Trix Dolphin 2.0. So, this is the e-bike kit that we purchased uh, sometime last week. And fortunately, the package has arrived in good condition. So, without further ado, let's unbox this one and check what are the things inside this package and hopefully we can assemble the conversion as fast as we could okay so let's start the unboxing okay so unveiling the box inside here are the following Okay, so opening up the package so this one here is the 500 watt rear hub motor so the good thing about this rear hub is that it already has a controller built in inside so no need to do cable management on the controller since the controller is already inside the hub motor okay so this is the 20 inch nice okay so also inside the box okay so D power so this is the charger for the battery So we have a small box. Okay, so some zip ties. So the cables. the pedal assist sensor the thumb travel so the brake levers and this one is the display Okay, so this is the same with our mountain bike conversion. This one is the SW900 LCD display. And this one would probably be the battery. 
So this one is the battery. Okay, based on the indicator, it's at full charge. So this is a lithium ion battery case, 48 volts, 13 upper hours. Okay, nice packaging. So the charging port is here. The switch and the battery connector. Okay. And also here are the keys and the uh, rubber mounts. everything else and start the conversion okay so first we need to remove the rear wheel Okay, so the rear wheel is now removed. Let's see first if this one fits here. So far it does fit, so let's remove the free wheel and attach it here. Okay, so we have the ready transfer the free wheel. Install the disc brakes. So it's now time to install it. In the bike.
So we're now done with the installation of the brake calipers here, the LCD monitor which is the SW900, the power on button and the switches, the thumb throttle which is installed on the left side with cable routing here, the front going down here. So here and we have already connected the battery mount here at the bike carrier so the main purpose really of this bike carrier is to mount the battery for the conversion of the folding bike so that's why we installed it first last time about a week ago for this purpose of installing the bike rack for the battery mounting okay so this goes through here the power cable connector going to the main connector which is this one towards the hub motor which is at the back okay so as stated er uh, uh, earlier this hub motor already includes the controller inside so with the controller inside we don't even have to worry about where the controller if it's in case it's not in the hub motor itself so the last thing that we're going to do is to install the pedal assist sensor this one so this can be installed either either side depending on the orientation but this one I will install it here because this will be oriented uh, this way here so we're going to remove this one and install it somewhere here okay Okay, so first we need to remove the crank. So since this is already secure, then let's route this one in here. <coughs> okay, so we have now done with the cabling and all the rest and also for 
the cable, the cabling of the battery cables and all. So it's now time to test the conversion by installing first the battery. Okay. Lock it into place. So let's turn it on. Okay, so let's test out the throttle. Conversion works. Okay, for our next videos, we will be trying to test drive this one maybe on a later day or the next uh, weekend so that we'll try to see if how fast this really is for this 500 watt rear hub conversion kit for the folding bike okay also maybe next time we'll see how the folding bike works if already mounted with the battery and uh, we'll try to fit it at the back of a car okay so if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so also if you haven't seen the installation of the bike rack just click somewhere here and you will be directed towards that video see you in the next one